Hey, Park, Alan Greenstra here, and uh, more than happy to come on and, and give a short testimonial about how the ABTs have really changed the way I communicate with uh, my customers, uh, my employees, uh, and, uh, and, and, and my sales channel as well, because I do a lot of sales channel training. And the whole concept of just taking the message that I need to get across and finding a way to simplify it because people are busy they don't have they don't have time to listen to a big long boring story so what i love about the building blocks behind the abt is the whole idea of agreement contradiction and consequence you know creating that statement of agree of agreement um and then finding something troublesome that contradicts uh maybe maybe contradicts the reality of the person I'm trying to communicate to and then finding the consequence and, and even a resolution. It, it's a fantastic tool and it's it's completely changed. Uh, and I see the results too. I, I'm getting res, uh, a lot more responses back to to my emails, to, uh, uh, to, my, to my LinkedIn posts on social media and so on. So great job and thanks for everything you did. By the way, Brand Bewitchery, I absolutely loved your book. So long. Hey Park, it's Jen. I am uh, making this video to tell you about the impact of the ABT on my career and quite frankly the way I speak. It is probably uh, the most powerful communications tool in my toolbox. Um, you know, the A, setting the scene, the B, the tension, the T, the resolution. It sets me up for success every single time. Um, it is just, uh, you know, it never gets tired because it is the most effective way of setting people up for what I want to communicate and having it resonate. It, I just can't say enough, Paul, uh, Park, about it. So thanks. The skill set of being able to use story in your communications became blatantly obvious to me like four years ago. And I set off on this journey to just get good at it, consuming a bunch of different books on story. But just about every book has this like long, complex cycle, like, uh, you know, Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey that didn't really allow me to use it very practically on most of the things that I was doing. And that's why when I found the ABT and how simple it was and how applicable it was, it completely changed the game for me, right? I, I heard Park Howell on one of Christopher Lockhead's podcasts and it immediately made sense to me, read his book, uh, Narrative Gym for Business, and immediately started practicing it. And I've been able to implement story now into social media posts, texts, emails, uh, conversation, and it's just greatly increased my ability to communicate and persuade for the things that I really, really care about. And it's turned me into this guy that's always recommending the ABT and that, and that book to everybody, which then feeds this like feedback loop of people asking me for advice on their ABT, which gets me practicing my ABT more and more often. And it's made me a great storyteller and persuader. So I just, I couldn't recommend it any higher. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal framework, great book, and Park Howell's work is just something that I follow closely. As an independent director producer, the first part of my job always is creating a proposal that helps me and the client get on the same page. I'd send these off to Park and I'd say, hey, is there any way I can make them better? And he would always send back the same feedback. He says, I think it's a great start, but try putting it in an ABT and see if it doesn't make it better. And it's really funny because at first I had this resistance. I was like, ah, I don't know, this doesn't feel right. I, I don't think this is the, the way to go. But he just insisted, he said, just put it in there. Don't worry about keeping it. If you don't like it, then we'll do something else. But once I started using the ABT, I really started to understand the power of it. Taking years and years of storytelling knowledge, which is his expertise, and getting it concise and getting it down to just this really simple, fundamental structure, it helps you take these complex stories that you're trying to tell your client and make them simple. And when it's simple and it's understandable, that's when the client really gains a whole level of trust in what you're doing. And they said, you know what? He says it's so simply, why didn't we ever think of it this way? The ABT is that structure to make that happen. And once they have that understanding, then they have total confidence in what you're doing. And that for me is the best way to start off a job. So if um, you also have that feeling of like, oh, I'm a little skeptical, I'm a little bit nervous to start and try this ABT method, just give it a go. And by the time you get the first one done, 
um, even if it's not perfect, you'll understand the direction that you're going and it'll really help you uh, in sales and everything else.